My name is Pete Gillespie and I'm Head of Snow Sports at the Snow Centre in Hemel Hempstead. Um, now today I'm going to take you through uh, five, maybe six items that I think are quite important to carry with you when you go on a ski trip or a snowball trip. They might not be the most obvious. I mean, I think everybody knows uh, you've got your spare hat and spare gloves and that kind of thing, which is all really important. So I'm just going to take you through some maybe some alternatives. So personally, I do like to carry a bit of equipment when I'm when I'm skiing, if I'm with family, friends or with uh, with guests, even if my day is planned to be on piece, there's still bits and bobs I like to carry with me. So I, I carry a rucksack. Now I have various rucksacks for various activities. So some quite high techy rucksacks if I'm off piece skiing, which would to be fair be too much for a, for, for a day on the piece, a day teaching on the piece. So I have a very lightweight tube rucksack, this one here. Now this literally weighs nothing. It has a pocket on each side where you can put your, your drinks and things. And it is literally just a tube. Now what happens in that tube is you, you load up your day bits, if you like, roll the tube up like this, clip it, and you have an ultra lightweight backpack. You do not even know you're, you're wearing that. Now the great thing with this is you can pack it with essentials and it isn't bulky, it doesn't fit. It's got no frame or anything like that. Absolutely important. Now, one of the most important things I'll put in there first of all is a pocket first aid kit. These are very inexpensive. You're looking at maybe, I don't know, 10 pounds for this first aid kit. And what, what's in here is the basics like plasters, um, some basic bandages and gauzes. The things that are gonna help you in a minor incident, one of your one of your family, friends, children catches their, their finger on the edge of the board of the ski, obviously this can deal with it. Um, if there's a bit of a bleed, you've got enough here to, to kind of stop that whilst you get medical help. So obviously this isn't gonna kind of be something that you're doing open heart surgery with on the, on the slopes, but it certainly is a, a great little pack. Also in here, really important, space blanket these space blankets again are really inexpensive and this fits in here now the space blanket would provide some uh, insulation from the cold and the wind if uh, if you did have to stop and uh, deal with an accident if you were in an accident on your party or you came across an accident by wrapping someone up in the space blanket you're going to uh, conserve some of their some of their heat really important thing to remember with these is that ultra lightweight which in some respects is fantastic means they fit in there perfectly also it means um, in a windy situation if you let go of that that's, that's gone. So be careful of that as well. But these two items together, absolutely fantastic. That fits into your rucksack. The other thing I might put in there personally is a few little tablets for myself, you know, like a Nurofen or something, if I've got a, a sore knee or maybe I've overdone the Afro ski. So it's always a good idea to have, have something like that with you. So that goes into, into our little bag here. Now the other thing, um, I'm not wearing glasses today, but quite often I wear glasses. I don't wear them to ski. A lot of my friends and colleagues do and they have this issue with them with them steaming up. So what we've got here is these lens wipes, which are absolutely amazing for defogging uh, a lens, whether it be on your goggles or uh, on your glasses. Just by wiping across the, the, the surface, you'll give them a really high quality clean. Doesn't damage the, the glasses, they're made for glasses and optics. Um, and it can get you out of trouble if you're in a situation where you're steaming up or your goggles are getting covered in there in snow or just that you've got hot and you've breathed into them so again these are really inexpensive you buy them a little bit like that there you go lens wipes um and they come in no there's 200 in there so that's gonna last a fair few fair few squad ski, ski holidays whilst we're on optics now i know that different people have different budgets and as you're um as you're progressing with your your skiing and snowboarding you like to start to get kit that suits you so you'll start to increase your budget you're going more often so I would say, obviously, for first time, is you're not going to go out and buy a 200 pound pair of goggles. Definitely get the best ones you can get for your money. Um, I use a, it's an Anon goggle. This is an M2, and the reason that I like these goggles is, is basically the fact that the lens is really easy to change. So if you're a skier or snowboarder already, you'll know that different lenses um, work in better conditions. So for, for very sunny conditions, I'd have a dark lens. For flat light snow conditions, I have a clear lens. It's a clear lens that I've got in there at the moment. What I like about this goggle is that just pops out like that and then pops back in. So yes, these are kind of higher up on the on the budget. Um, so I, my my advice would be to yeah to buy what you can afford and then gradually start to increase your your budget as you go. Goggles and optics, along with something to clean them with, is a really good plan. Now the other thing a must when you're skiing is water, you must stay hydrated. This even got P for Peter on it, so I don't get it mixed up with anybody else's. Now what I like about this is actually you can put you can put hot to drink in there as well. 
but I, I carry water in there, fits into the rucksack, fits into the one the side packages, uh, pockets. What you'll find in the Alps as well, or any mountain environment, the higher you go, the more likely you are to get dehydrated. So it's important to stay hydrated. Also, um, we do party a bit when we're the adults amongst us when we're when we're away. So it could be that you've had a few drinks more than you normally would, and then you're going to high altitude. So hydrating is really really important. Um, personally, I'm a fan of something that is sustainable. I can keep refilling this. I'm not chucking it in the bin. So I'm like a plastic bottle or what have you. I mean, obviously that does exactly the same job, but um, but this is just a personalised one that I can I can fill up every day. So I've always got water with me. It's really important. Another little tip for you. I've got two sets of ski socks here. These are more expensive ski socks. Really this kind of thing that I would wear on a daily basis. This is a really inexpensive tube ski sock. Now I keep a set of these in my uh, in my rucksack in case um, yeah, someone has uh, a, a sore foot that needs some extra padding. So obviously it works really well as a sock. But I'll tell you the other thing this does really well. It works as an emergency glove. So one of your, one of your team or one of your kids has dropped a mitten. This happens with kids all the time. It used to happen to my children all the time. That becomes an emergency mitten. And it's really inexpensive. It's a dirt cheap pair of, uh, pair of socks, tube socks that you can put in. So I'd advise carrying one of those. Final thing I'm going to say on the, on kit to take is, as I've mentioned, as you go through your, your skiing and you progress and your snowboarding, you start to, to decide on what you like. Skiers have learned a lot from mountaineers. So we tend to wear a, a layered system there where you have a base layer, then a mid layer. You maybe have a fleecy layer depending on, on the time of year. And then you're having outer layer as well. So I'm a real fan of, of this kind of uh, this kind of jacket. So this is a, an outer shell, ultra lightweight, uh, waterproof, but along with the rest of my equipment, it builds a really good system, which I can then de-layer if I get hot. And there's the other beauty of the of the lightweight rucksack. Where does all this stuff go? If you have to take a layer off, it goes in the rucksack. The only thing you will find is as the party leader, you will end up carrying everyone's bits and bobs because you become the person that is the, the pack mule. I hope that's been useful for you uh, guys. Consider some of those points I've made and uh, hope you have a great uh, snow sports holiday when you can.